Get your tickets. If you don't have your tickets, you better get some tickets. Very good. And then the solar, the solar farms in California are so bad, the guy lost 30% of his power because of, because of the, the scum in the air. Yeah, I recall hearing that. The chemtrails were really impacting. The two most important speakers in the Nile Truth Movement are here in Toronto. He's a personal source of inspiration for many, a beacon of truth, a true patriot, and a friend. Let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Richard Gage. Well, this, the National Institute for Standards and Technology, tasked with giving us the answers to these puzzling questions about the destruction of these three high-rises, they say they found no evidence for explosive controlled demolition. Later, they acknowledge that they never looked for it. How can you find what you're not looking for? Well, uh, hundreds, in fact, over a thousand architects and engineers have looked for it. Scientists have looked for it. Uh, thousands in the United States and around the world. And guess what? It wasn't hard to find. Uh, we've been speaking about it now for uh, three, four years. In 30 American states, Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, we're going to South Africa and China this year. It would be the highest building in most cities. Uh, Toronto has just a few buildings higher than this. Uh, so next to the Twin Towers, which were at one time the highest buildings in the world. Now, it wasn't hit by an airplane. So it makes a very interesting comparison because we can't use the excuse that you often hear, well, those towers are hit by airplanes. That's never happened before. Well, not here in Building 7. Uh, it comes down at about 5.20 in the afternoon. Uh, so it survived the, uh, some of the debris hitting it. It just did some moderate damage to it. Uh, but NIST says that damage wasn't consequential, not a factor in its collapse. Uh, it's maybe had two or three airings that I'm aware of on mainstream media. And yet, it is the third worst structural failure in modern history. The other two being the Twin Towers. Um, let's take one more look from West Street. <laughs> Penthouse comes down the second early. Smooth, symmetrical, straight down. You have to contradict the panther thing. The panther thing is the other one to say. Upside down. One second before it's out indicating poor column damage. I'm not convinced yet. Let's do a look at a side-by-side -side view with Building 7 on the left and a known control demolition on the right. Is there any comparison? Is there enough comparison to warrant a real investigation into the possible use of explosive demolition? Most of us think so. What is the cause of the building, according to NIST, in uh, its final report, uh, the building's collapse? We have office fires, normal office fires brought this building down. These are those normal office fires. These are photos of the worst fires that we have photographic evidence for, or videos for that matter. Uh, up on the 12th floor and the 13th floor, uh, which by the way was occupied by the Securities and Exchange Commission, which lost thousands of very valuable hard copy files related to hundreds of cases it was actively working on against Wall Street companies like Enron and World So we want a real investigation of uh, this fire. This is the subject of my most recent book, Mysterious Collapse, the World Trade Center 7, why the final official report about 9-11 is unscientific and false. I speak of the mysterious collapse because from the very beginning, the collapse of this building was seen as the biggest mystery of 9-11. Given the fact that the Twin Towers were hit by airplanes, many people thought they had an intuitive understanding of why the Twin Towers came down. But Building 7 was not hit by a plane, and nevertheless it came down at 521 that afternoon. This would have meant, assuming that no explosives were used, that Building 7 had been brought down by fire alone, which would have been an unprecedented occurrence. Well, science doesn't like these. New York Times writer James Glantz wrote, experts said no building like it, a modern steel-reinforced high-rise, had ever collapsed because of uncontrolled fires. 
He glanced in and quoted a structural engineer as saying, within the structural engineering community, building seven is considered to be much more important to understand than the towers because engineers had no answer to the question, why did seven come down? World Trade Center seven, research it. Larry Silverstein had an insurance policy before that building went down. He said they're gonna pull the building. That was his exact quote. Pull the building means demolish. Had uh, yes. Richard Gage and David Ray Griffin both come um, at, at the invitation of a group that's in Vancouver. I've been here and uh, standing on the street corner with these guys sometimes. Uh, I've had the pleasure of... Do you need more company on the street corner? See the truth here. Open your eyes and speak up. The truth is right here about 9-11. 9-11 What about if it was your family? Or did you want Harvard to do an investigation? 9-11 was an inside job. You've got more favorable press coverage of the 9-11 truth. It's not great, <laughs> but it's better than ours. Uh, the best is in Denmark, where Niels Herod is. Uh, and in other places in Europe. So, I would like to see the 9-11 truth movement here in Toronto. Montreal and Washington and uh, <laughs> British Columbia and maybe a couple others join forces and see how you could bring about a blue ribbon panel where you would have highly respected Canadians who haven't already made up their mind about 9-11 just listen to the evidence and then announce to the world uh, their judgment and uh, uh, this could maybe provide a breakthrough. And if Canada did it, then Japan might do it. Europe, European countries might do it. So, uh, thank you very much. I think, uh, I think Canada could lead the way in exposing this lie on which, which has made our world so much worse uh, over the last nine years. Well, what difference does it make? It was nine years ago, right? Look what's happening now. Canada is sending detainees off to be tortured. You've got wars that you're embroiled in that are perpetual. So they can lie about weapons of mass deception. Continue talking, there is no such thing as the New World Order. Everything they said happened on 9 11 was true. Somehow, kerosene turned three buildings into three puddles of molten metal for two weeks. Don't leave your barbecue running. Your hot dog might turn your barbecue into a puddle of steel in your backyard somehow. If that makes any sense, even though kerosene can't melt steel in the first place. You realize that, folks. Kerosene doesn't melt steel. But somehow, kerosene turned three buildings into puddles of molten iron for two weeks. Don't leave your hot dogs on the barbecue is the point, folks. I'm Mark. I represent an organization called TorontoTruthSeekers.com. We're the local chapter of WeAreChange.org. I believe that when you become aware of fraud and deceit, and you do nothing to expose it, then you become complicit in that fraud and deceit. I discovered a lot of shocking information that was being concealed from the public. I wasn't happy to, 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 to gain this knowledge. I'm, I'm not happy knowing what I know. It doesn't... But I'm compelled to share it with people. And that's what we do. We're activists and you can visit us at torontotruthseekers.com and join in our activism. I encourage everyone to website. And, uh, Toronto Truth Seekers. Currently it's torontotruthseekers.com. torontotruthseekers.com.